Welcome to the next sub-assembly video for on-shape pizza cutters. Uh, again, we're going to create an assembly and we're going to use a document to do that in. This is going to be the guard end sub-assembly. And so that will take us through to our design area. Remember, we want to go to the assembly tab so that we can insert and make components. So let's uh, insert our first component. Uh, other documents, browse my own shape, and it's in the pizza, pizza cutters. And the part I'm going to start with is the guard. Now, because I've already played around with this, it already has a version. Remember, if you're bringing a part for the first time, just click on the, the little link to create a version for it and go with the default of version one. Um, it does allow you to um, create different versions, as I said in the last video, uh, as you're modifying components in assemblies. Um, so you've got a, a record of that development work that you've done. Uh, so first part, click on the part, but don't click in the workspace. Click on the tick. That aligns it with the uh, origin of the document and right click to fix it in place. Let's bring our other components. So again, only two more components in this assembly. So click on insert, other documents, my on shape, and pizza cutters and imported parts. So again, this is the grip is a part that has been drawn for you, modeled for you, that you'll need to download. So I'll bring that part in and I'll uh, then browse back to other part that I want uh, so this will be the guard end um, and again because I brought this part in last time by mistake it already has a, uh, a version number so that's the three parts we want let's now um, make these together uh, this isn't quite in the right orientation so let's click on it and rotate it around 180 degrees so you notice that if I click on an arrow I can move a part around and if I click on an arc I can rotate it so let's rotate that round 180 degrees um, I can type the number in there if I want to right now that that uh, part is where I want it to be well it wouldn't hurt I suppose to bring this part into the right orientation as well that just needs to go 90 degrees and then we'll just drag it out of the way uh, so let's uh, mate these two together. Um, well, let's concentrate on this one first. So we want a fixed mate or a fastened mate. And if I zoom in, as I hover over this surface, it will um, put a mate connector in there. And I don't need to be hovering over the mate connector. Once the right ones come up, I can just left click and it will select it. So it's selected this surface, the center of that rectangular hole. And I can do the same on here. So if I just manoeuvre it around with the right mouse button. Uh, there it is picked up on there. And I can click the tick to get that fastened. That bit lines up nicely. Uh, now I need to do the same with this. And if I hover over this shoulder, aligned with it in the middle of the ellipse, comes up a mate fastener. And I can do the same with this part. That lines it up. And I can tick it to say that I'm happy. And that is that sub-assembly done. So I can close the dialog box. I'm not mating any more parts. I can right-click and go to isometric. And that's that sub-assembly sub uh, ready for the full assembly. 